Hi, we're here with another CTN member highlight, and today we're featuring Keeping Kids Safe. And I'm here with Michael Mercer, the Director of Operations for Keeping Kids Safe and a volunteer for Keeping Kids Safe, Betty Reynolds. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank You're you, Brian. Thank you. Just to start off with, for those people who might not know what Ke Keeping Kids Safe is, can you describe it a little bit? Sure. Keeping Kids Safe uh, was started uh, here about six years ago by, uh, by Michael O'Neill. Um, he had an idea that uh, he was he's a uh, he was a reserve deputy for the Cumberland County Sheriff's Department and uh, uh, had an idea about how to uh, bring IDs uh, photo IDs um, to uh, you know to help law enforcement in, in case a child goes missing and this this developed into a, a, a more than just an ID program it, it turned into more of an awareness and education company and that's our mission today uh, I've been with the company about. Uh, a uh, little over two years, and uh, we're local nonprofit. And uh, what our uh, our mission is to uh, do cr do crime prevention through education and awareness. It's an acronym called SEPTI, and uh, we want to bring awareness uh, to kids from uh, from all age groups, and anywhere from anti bullying programs, cyber safety. Uh, child kid escape. We do uh, children in case they uh, might be abducted. Uh, we do uh, and make we make it fun for them. So there's a variety of programs that we offer, uh, and uh, so we offer to uh, for uh, children of all ages. And, and I noticed that you you know you you, you have a, a wide range of things that you do. You're a nonprofit organization. Do you have classes? Do you do a one to one? How how does how is that delivered? We usually go to schools. Uh, we like to get into probably you know the middle school, middle uh, the middle school, and uh, we bring uh, our most popular program is the uh, is the cyber safety program that we offer, which also includes anti bullying, cyber bullying, and uh, sexting, uh, a little bit about teen suicide. So there's a lot of different things that. Uh, because the kids today, uh, you know, 90, 95% of the kids today are on the internet, and that's where most of them become victims. I'm, I'm a little ignorant myself about the technology. What's sexting? Sexting is, uh, you know how a text is. Uh, you text phone to phone. Mm -hmm, right. This is a, uh, somebody would take a, uh, a photograph of them, and, uh, uh, and either a naked photograph or very scantily clothed, uh, of themselves and share it with other people. Typically, it's boyfriend girlfriend, uh, but a lot of times, you know how relationships are in high school and middle school. Uh, they don't last very long, and the other end, you know, somebody's going to break up with somebody. Well, that person has that picture of, of um, you know, the, a naked child, uh, and that can be disseminated throughout. Once it's out in cyber world, it's out there. <laughs> so what specifically do you do around uh, child sex trafficking? We have worked with uh, Representative Amy Volk from uh, uh, Coastal Scarborough and uh, she uh, authored a bill uh, to, uh, for trafficking, sex trafficking. And what we're involved in is the awareness about how to uh, uh, s watch for signs if your child is being um, uh, lured in or is being groomed on the internet by these predators. Uh, so we've worked closely with Amy and uh, with the Judiciary Committee and also with the state, you know, the state legislator to get this bill passed. So there's harsher penalties in this bill, which is exciting uh, because we, have, the law enforcement, have um, uh, you know more teeth in their in the bills and the laws that they can convict these. Uh, these predators out there, so we, we keep our kids safe. Um, the girl is going to you. We're going to watch this other story tonight. It's a important story as well. This Valley High School says she was the target of bullies. That is until the football team stepped in. Uh, Shai Johnson is her name, and she's a special needs student at Queen Creek High School. She was constantly being bullied, we're told. And, and, and we heard statistics nationally about bullying and, and some of the, 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 the dangers for children as far as strangers are concerned and abduction. But how prevalent is it in Maine? I think bullying nationwide is, is prevalent. Uh, I don't think Maine has, is, is unique to that at all. Uh, the, 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 cyber, the Internet has 
enabled people to be anonymous when they bully. Uh, they, they don't have to live next door. They don't have to go in the same school as you do. Uh, they can bully you from uh, anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world for that matter. So, uh, you know, cyberbullying is, is really big, especially kids today, you know, both parents usually work. Uh, a lot of kids stay home after school, so they're latchkey and they come in and they're on the internet and they get bullied and, and uh, to, the, to the point where, you know, some children are very frightened for their safety. Yeah. Uh, Betty, what's been your experience as a volunteer with Keeping Kids Safe? Um, well, you know, I'm, I'm a business owner with my husband, and we've organized a few events. Uh, I personally have organized a, a couple of bullying events where we've had uh, some really major people, um, you know, Nancy Silberkleit from um, Archie Comics, Jim Mayer from the Jimmy Buffett Band. We've had a, a, some great people come together and get the awareness out there that it's not okay to bully. It's just not okay to put negative words or actions, you know, to other people. And they're they're on a mission as well. They they want to get this out there. They they want this generation to be the generation that that says enough is enough. And um, it, we've just it's amazing. You know, you look at Channel Eight and all these other channels that are really taking this on board and saying. You know, we want to be a part of it. We want we want to be able to not only bring awareness, but bring the tools. And that's what we try to do with Keeping Kids Safe is one of the tools is what is it that you're doing with your phone, any kind of social media that you can actually um, be aware of to not do because, you know, the fact is, is predators are out there. They're posing as teenagers, and it's, it's very difficult for kids to understand that who you're talking to that you don't directly know may not be who you think they are. Right. And that's our, you know, that's one of our, our things is to make the kids aware, make parents aware of the settings in the phone that they can help with their children and on the Internet to, you know, prevent these from happening. It seems like awareness is a big part of what you do, both for parents and for the kids mm -hmm. to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. How about when you, you, the message of bullying, you're delivering directly to, in these schools to some people who might be bullies. Have, do you have any stories or successes uh, that, you, that particularly strike you? We have a, uh, we have a, a boy from uh, the lo local the Portland school district, the local district, who's, uh, uh, we've developed a steering committee, which is a, a committee <coughs> of, of teenagers, of kids, who help us uh, stay relevant uh, with what's going on in schools. Uh, so this particular uh, young man uh, had been bullied his whole, his whole life. And uh, he is now more of an advisor to us as to how, um, y how we can go in and educate people about anti-bullying. So it's very helpful to have those kinds of people to be articulate at such a young age to, uh, and want to make a difference. So our, the Committee of, of Youth is, uh, is part of our community action team that we've also created. And it must be especially aspi inspiring to work with kids that have actually made a transformation mm -hmm. and come through some of these things successfully mm -hmm. with your help. Absolutely. If people want to know more about your organization, where they can go, where they can get information, uh, what, 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 would, what, what would they do? You can go to uh, our website, it's www.keepingkidssafe.us, and we also have a Facebook page. And um, it's uh, Keeping Kids Safe, um, if you just look up Keeping Kids Safe, I don't know if there's a direct, yeah. but if you go to our website, you can link to it. Uh, and uh, my phone number is 207-699-8840, and uh, give us a call. We'd be happy to talk to you, uh, your school district, mm -hmm. superintendents, uh, church leaders, Boy Scouts, you, you name it. If there's kids, we would like to be involved mm -hmm. and, and, and share some safety with them. Great. Well, thank you, Michael and Betty, for joining us. It's great work Absolutely. you're doing. Great. Thank, thank you. you.